Oh, I'm just so excited to start the day. It's amazing. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, listen, everybody. I'm just warming up. I'm getting to my table. I'm getting situated. It's going to be a lovely year. And uh, we are about to end the year for 2020. It's been a pandemic year. And I wanted to say, the word of the day is, is hope. You got to have hope. You got to have hope. You got to stay motivated. You got to stay focused. You got to stay centered. And you can't give up. So that's my message to you, our viewers, fans, friends, followers, all around the world. Thank you so much. We're working on season four. We're about to enter season four for 2021. I'm so excited. So many changes happening. So I'm going to give you all the 411 on what we've been doing and our updates. I mean, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm excited to get started and working and being here to inspire you, to motivate you, to go out and do what you need to do for your life, your family, just for your spirit. You did, I talked about we all have to have hope, right? So we also need somebody cheering you on cheering everybody else on you know what I'm saying because this year is going to be hard work it's going to be a hard work labor of love to rebuild structure to invent to innovate we are now working remotely all right and um as i mentioned we are going to a worldwide pandemic that means it affected everybody all around the world. And how are we going to end COVID? How are we going to end it? We're going to end it by washing our hands, wearing a mask, practicing the six feet distancing, taking this serious. This is still lingering. This is still happening. And I don't want to deal with this. So the more that we all come together, unify, come together and take this serious. Let's get this out of our environment. We don't need it. As you know, and if you haven't noticed, this is affecting work, money, um, lifestyle, plans. This is affecting a lot of things. And I don't think it's like for the good. This is like for the bad, for everybody. Okay. And even if it hasn't caught up with you, you will see that this is not something that we want to be entertaining for 2021. Now, this will be around for the next. I'm not going to give it a date, but it's going to be around for a long time. If we don't start wearing our masks and covering our mouth and washing our hands and being mindful of our distance, six feet distance, and really protecting those loved ones that... <sighs> I didn't come to preach this... Um, Christmas Day. Uh, this Christmas Day, I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm just thankful. And we lost a lot of people. And we have to just be mindful. If, if you love your life, you love uh, seeing your friends, your family, uh, this is the call to sacrifice a little bit of your day. And it don't take much to wear a mask, wash your hands, and practice a six feet distance. Whether you're going to a store, whether you're going to a, a, a doctor's office or an appointment or school, you gotta do this. And listen, on your free time, you're running, you're jogging, whatever, you got that space, then you do whatever you want. But if you're among people, you got to be conscious. Can you imagine that you getting COVID? No, nobody wants to get it. And nobody wants to be in the hospital. So think about that next time you're out and about 
and you're starting your day and you're traveling, you're, you know, going to wherever you need to go. Because right now, I can, I, right now, everything should be loco. You shop local, you hang out loco, you know, um, I, that people are traveling and really like making these airports full and crowded and like, no, this is not the time for that. Like travel if you have emergency issues, you know what I mean? If you have to and, um, you know, just be more mindful, everybody. Happy, I mean, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, enjoy your time with your loved ones and let's get back to work tomorrow and get ready for the new year and practice these simple things that we took for granted but we used to do this all the time we used to wash our hands anyway but now is being more mindful about doing it every day and every time that you need to washing your hands wearing your mask and practicing your six feet distance and being mindful how you shop when you shop and just plan out your day everybody all right listen let me go i talk about coffee and i haven't had coffee and i just did a warm-up this is a warm-up an intro to our blogging and 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 podcasts and just talking straight real original content and just letting you know what's going on or letting you know how I feel, or my perspective, or my point of view on things, like stuff like that. <laughs> but I also want to hear from you, and I want to have you on the show. I got a lot, a lot of questions. Ask Barbara Campbell. If you got a question, just ask me. You want to know how I feel about things, just ask me. I'll let you know uh, the certain things that I definitely don't, don't, you know, I don't mind sharing on. But till then, you count, you matter. Stay in Brooklyn. Come back in the next minute. We are now, uh, we are getting situated. <laughs> Recognize us as Barbara Campbell Television. Under our umbrella, we have a series of television channel that we've created, web series, podcasts, blogs, and you're going to want to recap all the content that we've created in 2020. As we're moving forward to 2021, we're so excited. I want to say thank you, our viewers, supporters sponsors thank you so much thank you we are about uh inclusion diversity and we are about unity and coming together for the greater good of 2021 we're going to move forward we're going to make things happen and we're going to get back on our feet all right everybody till then you count you matter i'll see you on the next minute thank you for watching and tuning in i'm barbara campbell and tune in to our uh social media platform and look us up barbara campbell television that's what you're watching bye bye